Ghana is the most attractive place to invest in West Africa. This information is based on a report produced by RMB. They are a leading African corporate and investment bank and part of one of the largest financial services groups by market capitalization in Africa. Based on this report, Ghana ranked number one in West Africa and sixth in Africa. RMB uses a variety of metrics to come up with the ranking. According to the report, Ghana entered the world pandemic crisis on a relatively stronger footing than its African peers. Structurally, its economy has seen major shifts over the past few years positioning it for significant growth going forward. This is supported not only by primary sector industry like oil and gold, but accelerated development in the tertiary sector. I am sure you'll be wondering what are the indicators for this report. To understand the indicators used, let's listen to the author of the report. Over the past 10 years, give or take, you know, we've been spending a lot of time speaking to corporates, which are really a lot of them being South African based entities operating across the continent. You know, we've been speaking to a lot of portfolio investors trying to figure out what's important to them. And the anchor that we found was that they would, they would want to understand an environment both from an operating metrics perspective. So how easy it is to do business in this country um, from everything from setting up a new entity to just generally doing things like tax rebates. As an is, is that a regulatory uh, analysis? Well, yes, it captures regulatory analysis as well. So, so that's one component of it. You know, so from an operating environment, are we looking at policy? We're looking at regulation. We're looking at law, which is very important. We're looking for freedom. You know, how free are the people in that country to be able to operate? And then we're also looking at competitiveness. And this has really been one of the strong anchors for the report. But on the flip side, we've also been talking about just the general economy. Is the economy growing? You know, that being a benchmark. And then secondly, one that we tend to forget is market size. I remember Africa is, is an environment where we've got a massive retail base that's still untapped. You know, we speak about the massive youth dividend that could still enter big sectors like manufacturing, digital economy, et cetera. So numbers do count. So that's one thing that we've also been considering. This past year with COVID happening, something else sort of interested us. And that was trying to understand the fiscal conditions in each and every country and whether that could be used as a gauge to understand whether it's attractive. Now, I think it goes without saying, what we've found is economies that entered the pandemic with extremely poor fiscal conditions may have ended up going into defaults, like in the case of an environment like Zambia, or what we found over time is that you had extreme weakness in the currency and they haven't really been fully been able to bounce back. Or as one that a lot of us tend to comment on is liquidity. So the fiscal conditions in a country are so integral in terms of understanding whether or not someone will find that environment attractive.